is the Indian Institute of Technology Bombay. So from this one here we got the PhD admission notification for the academic year 2022 to 23 spring semester. So first of all we will see what are the different departments the PhD vacants are there here. The sanctioned strength for the PhD admission program 2022 to 23 in the IIT Bombay you may check down here as per the cast category wise the number of vacancies are mentioned that you may check down. So aerospace engineering 15, bioscience and bioengineering 18, chemical engineering 20, chemistry 26, civil engineering 22, computer science and engineering 26, earth sciences 15, electrical engineering 38, energy science and engineering 12, humanities and social sciences 22 and mathematics 26, mechanical engineering 30 and metallurgical engineering and material science 22, physics 26, industrial engineering and operations research 8. Systems and Control Engineering 8, Educational Technology 8, Climate Studies 8 and uh, Environmental Science and Engineering 11, Industrial Design Center 15 and uh, Geoinformatics and Natural Resources Engineering 8 and Center for Research in Nanotechnology and Science 8 and Technology and Development 5 and Urban Science and Engineering 8 and uh, Management 18, Policy Studies 8 and uh, MINDS and KCDH. Okay, so these things are mentioned here and uh, the total number of uh, vacant seats are 445 okay so total 445 vacant seats are available in the iit bombay it will be the wonderful opportunity guys so you guys can utilize this opportunity and you can check down that each and every department the huge number of vacants are there okay so utilize this opportunity and uh, after looking at the different subjects next i am going to show you what is the eligibility criteria so minimum eligibility criteria as I mentioned here, qualifying degrees, masters or equivalent degree in the energy or sorry engineering or technology or else the bachelor's degree in engineering or technology or else the masters or equivalent in the sciences or else in the arts or the commerce or the allied subjects. Except the first one, except the first one, whatever the two, three, four are there, the candidates who belongs to these qualifications you must also have one more qualification out of these points out of the a b c d e apart from the two three four you should have also one more qualification either you must have the valid gate or seed score or else you must be qualified the ug senate lecturership or else you might be qualified for the mhrd agencies like institutions like ugc or iat or iac or iac or triple at etc national level examination or else you might be having the DST inspired fellowship or else minimum two years of professional experience. Okay. Two minimum two years of professional experience might be required. So apart from the two that, that means the candidates who belongs to two, three, four categories, out of this A, B, C, D, E, you must have any one. Okay. Must also fulfill one of the following additional requirements must be there. And coming to the marks requirement, minimum 60 percentage of aggregate and first class as specified by the university. Okay, so these things must be there and for the general EWS and OBC non creamy layer, but while coming to the SCST PWD category minimum 55 percentage must be there. Okay, so these are all the eligibility criteria fine and coming to the fellowship if you are looking for the main fellowships and all these things here the information brochure is there. Okay, in this in its official website of the IIT Bombay here the information brochure is kept here. If you click on this one then the 56 pages of information brochure will be downloaded and in this brochure okay at the 11th page it is a sixth page right so you just to go to the 11th page where they clearly mentioned about the uh, different things like how much amount you are going to get okay so if you if you are qualifying for the teaching assistantship that means actually two different types of financial supports are there one is the teaching assistant and another, another one is the research assistant so coming to the teaching assistant the qualification requirement is given here Okay, so if you're having the qualification like this, okay, with this one, then you will get the fellowship of five years. So for the first two years, 31,000 rupees per month and the next remaining period of three years, you are going to get 35,000 rupees per month. So teaching assistant means definitely you should work eight hours per week, okay, in the course or else in the laboratory. Coming to the reaching, I mean, research assistant means, so you should have these qualifications okay so msc or ma or something like this or else the uh, gate or the just uh, for the physics category or else a valid jrf award letter or else the national eligibility test or else the ug senate including the lecturer or assistant uh, professorship okay so if you are having the these qualifications means uh, then you are going to get the stipend of I mean, the, the research assistant of 
35,000 rupees for the first two years and 39,000 rupees for the remaining period you are going to get. Okay, and you need to work almost 20 hours per week you need to work as per the work assigned by the concerned academic unit, fine. So to get the complete details, once go through all these details very clearly, which is having the 56 number of pages and then start applying for these positions. Okay, so here the online application portal is there, fine. So it will be available from, that means online applications will be available from Monday. 12th September 2022 it's going to start so if you are interested and if you belongs to these subjects whatever I shown to you and if you are having these qualifications okay so these qualifications then you can apply fine and if you are looking for the teaching assistantship as well as the research assistantship then as I told you that these qualifications will be mandatory okay so for the teaching or the research assistantship these qualifications will be mandatory good so please share this video to your friends or colleagues who are looking for this type of opportunity. It will be very much helpful to them. And to get more notifications like this, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. And all the best to the applicants and thank you very much for watching the video. Website of the Unacademy. So all of you know that uh, Unacademy is the India's largest uh, learning uh, platform. So it is not only providing the paid courses guys, it is providing the free online classes also. And you will get the free online class on the two platforms. One is on an academy YouTube channel and one is on an academy app itself in the name of uh, special classes. So here, uh, what I mean, NTA is conducting the UG Senate examination for a total 81 uh, subjects, right? So out of the 81 subjects, an academy is providing the online uh, courses or else uh, what you call paid courses. Okay, that is nothing but uh, complete coaching. Uh, for the subjects okay, that you may explore what are the different subjects an academy is uh, providing this UG Senate uh, examination purpose and coming to the list of the subjects so general paper on teaching is common that means teaching aptitude that is paper one is common that you will get in English language as well as the Hindi language and coming to the remaining uh, paper two subjects are uh, commerce management computer science and application political science history economic sociology labor welfare and uh, English and education and geography, law, Hindi, psychology, public administration, electronic science, home science, environmental sciences, philosophy, mass communication and journalism, tourism administration, management, Sanskrit, Punjabi, okay, and anthropology. So these are the different uh, subjects that an academy is providing guys. And uh, while coming to the myself, as I told that, uh, I'm providing the subject that is uh, electronic science. So it is uh, my profile. So for both paper one as well as the electronic science, I'm the an academy educator. So, the information to the electronic science candidates, I mean, not only to the electronic science candidates, so whatever the subject I shown you right now. So, if you want to take the subscription plan where the new batch courses are going to start guys, okay. If you want to take the subscription plan for all this one, then uh, you may click on this get subscription. As I told in the starting itself that you will get the free, on, I mean, the free online class as well as the paid courses also. But under the subscription, you will get the complete in detailed uh, syllabus as per the UGC syllabus guys. And uh, you may take the plus or the iconic subscription. So if you click on the plus, okay, these are the different subscription plans are there. So you may take one month or three months or six four months or 12 or 24 months. Okay. And here the price are also mentioned. So for one month, 3,190 and three months, 6,875 like this. And whatever the current courses are running, they are maximum up to the three months, okay, or else beyond the three months. So the suggestable one is the three months or the six months of subscription plan or else if you are preparing for the next other cycles, you may take more than uh, six months also. And uh, if you go to this one here, it, it, it mentions that have a referral code here. So here I am providing one referral code guys, A-S-W-I-N-I-K. Okay. So if you click on this referral code and uh, apply, so whatever the plan you are going to take here, for example, if you want to take the six months of subscription plan. Okay, and if you use my referral code that is ASWINIK, then you will get the 10% discount. Okay, 10% off you will get on any one of the subscription plan. So previously I shown you whatever the subjects that is providing for the, I mean, providing by the UN Academy. So for any subjects, you will get uh, the 10% discount uh, for the referral code that is ASWINIK and then click on the proceed to pay. Okay, and while coming to the electronic science and the paper one. Okay, so the new batch course is going to start from uh, November 3rd onwards. Okay, that means the day of yesterday, November 3rd onwards. So all the interested candidates may take the subscription plan guys, can utilize the opportunity. So already the course schedule, everything is launched here. Fine, so you may check down in my profile link also. And uh, after downloading the Unacademy app, you may click on, uh, I mean, you, you may search by the